终要离开。Xu Jinglei's film *Somewhere Only We Know* was a hit with Chinese audiences in 2015, but it was the movie's backdrop as much as its love story that won them over. And at the time, two years ago, they started looking for uh, some uh, city where they could basically produce this European uh, story, which, the, which uh, this European story, you know, uh, has been very essential, you know, for the movie itself. At that time, they have been uh, looking at Paris, uh, since Paris showed to be, uh, uh, turned out to be so expensive. They basically changed their mind, and instead of shooting in Paris, you know, they basically decided to shoot uh, here in Prague. Chinese filmmakers enjoy a lower tax rate in Prague compared to Paris, and more are following Xu Jinglei's lead. Prague-based independent film company Milk and Honey Pictures currently have three Chinese films in the works. Now, a uh, Chinese audience, you know, thinks far more international. You know, China wants to basically kind of uh, wants to be seen in the context of uh, everybody else um, living outside of China. With more international film crews now coming to the Czech Republic, the country's tourism is also getting a boost. In 1,000 uh, Chinese tourists, and last year in 2015, it was 285,000 uh, of uh, Chinese tourists, which was an uh, increase of 35%. So yes, uh, each year is really a significant uh, increase. Movie making and tourism point to the growing level of economic and cultural exchange between the two countries.